Welcome to this course. In this exciting course, you will develop 10 web applications by using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript technology. So if you acquire a fundamental understanding of these technologies, then you can easily follow this course. So allow me to introduce the projects that we will be building throughout this course. So the first application that we are going to build is the FT calculator application. So you can see it has three labels, one button and three input types and then we have this maturity amount which will be show the amount with the results. Okay, so here we are going to add the amount. So I'm going to enter here like 1 lakh rupees and if I enter the interest rate as 6% and if I enter here tenure years is going to be 1 then we are getting the 6000 rupees interest on 1 year of the FD. The next project that we are going to build is the password generator application. So you can see right now it's having the default value in the input type is 8. This is also an input type but we are going to restrict it with the HTML code so that we don't enter the text inside of this particular input type. Then you can see we have these check boxes. If I include a lowercase character then we are getting a 8 length of the password. If I just simply uncheck this lowercase then we are getting the password with just numbers and uppercase. If I include the symbols and lowercase and increase the length of the password, then we are getting the random password according to these input checkboxes. So our third project is Vowel Checker application. You can see this is the Vowel Checker application. It has a nice hover effect on this card. We have this heading, text area input, then I have this button and the result element to display the result of the operation. So if I enter here a like Udemy course, I click on this check vowel, then you can see we have these five vowels here. So it's going to display the result as 5. Okay, the next project which is the fourth project we are going to build is the age calculator. So you can see this is the age calculator. Then we need to select the DB, means the date of birth. If I select here a date of birth like uh, October and just I need to select the year as well. If I select my date of birth year which is 1995 and then October then this is going to be 25. Click on the A, then you can see my age is 27 years, which is correct. The fifth application that we are going to build is the tip calculator. So here we need to add the amount. So suppose we have actually spent hundred dollar and we tip percentage is going to be like five. So if I calculate it, then you can see we need to pay the five dollar of the tip amount. And the total amount that we need to pay is one zero five dollar. So this is the fifth application that we are going to build it by using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Sixth application is the simple to do list application. So it's just having a single input type then there is a heading and then simple button when you click on it then the to do will be added. So if I enter here like first task or first to do. Okay so first task to do if I click on add then you can see the to do is added to the list and it also have this cross button which will actually use to delete the task. So if I enter here a like second to do and if I click on the add then you can see the two to do is actually added. If I click on this then you can see it's actually removed and if I click on this button this to do is also removed. So our seventh application is the digital clock application. We actually going to build it by using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Again I am repeating we are going to create this nice card like structure. So it is little tricky to develop. So we are going to do this with the use of CSS and we are going to update the timer by using the JavaScript. So this particular project doesn't take any input. So right now it's going to display the time in a 24 hour format. Our eighth application is the expense tracker application. So it's just like a to do application but with some modifications. So if I click on the ad then you can see it has a like alert. So inside of that we need to first enter the expense description. So it's going to like food. So it's going to be the food description. If I click on OK then there is another alert will pop up. So inside of that you need to add the amount. So it's going to like $500 you have spent on your foods. If I click on add then you can see the list is actually added and then you also have this particular cross button so on click of that it is going to remove the let me add another expense so it's like like our water or if I just simply say that the internet internet expense click on ok then the amount is going to like $40 if I click ok then you can see this is our internet expense if I want to delete it then simply click on this cross button it's going to delete the list of the expense. The another application which is the ninth application that we are going to develop is just a pop-up application. So if I click on this and you can see this is a popover appears. If I click on the close then you can see the popover close. So we are going to build this application by using CSS because most of the code is actually done with the CSS. Our last application of this course is the ASCII code generator. So if I just simply refresh here to actually give you the fresh overview of the application. So this is the ASCII code character detector application ASCII code slash unicode character. So if I enter here a character then it's going to return 
whether the entered character is sk character no or a unicode character so that's for all the projects that we are going to build in this course so by the end of the course you will have 10 fully functional html css and javascript projects in your portfolio but you will also acquire a solid understanding of essential javascript concepts i will guide you through each line of the code providing step by step explanation of the code and its core concept so enroll now to start your exciting coding journey